The lives of two families and many friends were forever changed today in a crash so awful it's a little tough to look at the scene. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Pat Lawson News. I'm Sean Yancey. Two teenagers were inside the speeding BMW when it crashed in Upper Marlboro. The 18-year-old in the passenger seat was killed. The driver survived. Just minutes ago, the Prince George's County School District confirmed that both were students at Wise High School. Debris was strewn across the crash scene along Ritchie Marlboro Road near Dunsmore Terrace. News Force Paul Wagner joins us live there now. And Paul, we understand the road has just re been reopened. Yeah, Pat and Sean, the uh, police have concluded their investigation here and Richie Marlboro Road is open. As you mentioned, the Prince George's County School System has confirmed that these were two wise high school students, both seniors heading into school, which is less than a mile from here. It took the police seven hours to conclude their investigation. And let me show you that the trailer that the 18-year-old struck from behind is still here on the scene as Prince George's County Police try to figure out exactly how this horrific accident happened. Jennifer Rios was inside her home with a friend, a nurse practitioner, when they heard the type of crash that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. The nurse practitioner and I ran outside um, and then we went straight to the children or the, the people involved, I should say, um, and then we tried to help as much as we could. Rios says she knew immediately there was little she could do. I've been to combat, so of course. <laughs> You've been in the army? Yes. Yeah. This was this was something equal to something you experienced? The scene. Yes, the scene, yeah. Prince George's County Police say the 18-year-old driver of the BMW struck the back of this landscaping trailer, which sheared off the right side of the car. Police say his passenger, an 18-year-old girl, was thrown from the car and killed immediately. From Chopper 4, you can see where the car came to rest after the collision, a distance of what appears to be several hundred feet. At this time, police are not saying how fast they believe the driver may have been going. I don't have uh, an exact speed at this time. That's something that the investigation will reveal. Another neighbor who also heard the crash says when she went to see what happened, it was the sounds that caught her attention. Yeah, I heard the screaming and crying when they um, announced announced the, the deceased person and they put the white blanket over the person's body. Police say the landscaping trailer was stopped at the time and the landscaping crew was nearby. They declined to comment. Neighbors say there are no speed humps or cameras to slow drivers on this stretch of road, and there needs to be. These are our children, and we need to change. We need to make something happen because this is ridiculous. Too many lives are being lost. Too many accidents are just happening. Now, the letter that was sent home to wise parents says there will be counseling at the school, and it actually lists suggestions on how parents can talk to their kids about what happened out here on this road. We also understand that the 18-year-old driver is still hospitalized in stable condition. Pat and Sean. Such a tragic story, Paul. Thanks Thank so much.